Yeah, it's your boy Chilly here. Welcome back to Direct 3D 12 Shallow Dive. I was so excited to have my spinning Dorito, but you know me, I'm a, I'm a fickle lord and already I tire of this tawdry bobble. We need to kick up the 4D 3D 3D3. So, so let's juice up our vertex data a little bit. Now yeah, we got eight vertices. What could it be? None other than your friend, the cube. So this is vertex data for a cube. I think you can probably figure that out by inspection. Here's the thing though, a cube with only eight vertices, obviously you're gonna have to reuse those vertices for multiple triangles, which means what? It means you're gonna need index drawing. So right after our vertex buffer view here, let us uh, create another resource for an index buffer. Here are the indices which sketch out the triangles for each side. We got six sides. We got two triangles per side. Like with the vertices, you know, we are going to have, uh, we're going to keep track of the number of indices that we have. Now we're going to create the committed resource for the index buffer. And this is like basically exactly the same as for the vertex buffer because they're just treated the same. It's just like a generic buffer resource. We're going to create another one for the upload and then we're going to copy from our array here into the memory of the upload buffer. Okay, so now again, it's just exactly the same as the vertex buffer stuff. We set up a command list to copy from the upload buffer to the buffer we're going to use for rendering and, you know, we execute that. There's, there's nothing else here. And finally, like with a vertex buffer, we need a view for our index buffer, put the address in there size, the format, which is, you know, this is going to be different than the vertex buffer. This is 16 bit uint. All right. So here we go. So now when we're rendering, in addition to binding the vertex buffer view, we also have to bind our index buffer view. Now, because we got a cube, right? We got three dimensions. It'd be a shame to rotate only in the Z dimension. We're not showing off our cube to its maximal effect. So let's rotate along all three axes at different rates. So we'll just concatenate rotation X, Y, Z, different rates, different, you know, phase offsets, and it should look nice. The final thing now, we don't draw instanced, we draw indexed instanced. And so now we're gonna say, hey, draw this many indices, and there's one instance. We're gonna start at index zero. We're gonna start at vertex zero. And we're starting at instance zero. I don't know if that even matters, but we're doing it. And there you go. That should be, that should be it. Like we should be just ready to go. We should have a cube now. And that wasn't too painful at all. Well, uh, it's a little painful now that I, now that I look at it. It looks like we're like inside. Our cube is like too big, man. We need a smaller cube, but we need to like pull back a little bit. Let's pull out, let's pull this bitch out a bit. So we're going to put our eye position at like minus six and then we'll see how that looks. Okay. Well, it's better. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's good. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's good, but it's better. We have fun. We have fun here. We're going to have some fun debugging. But uh, if you notice, if you look down here, looking at the output window, it's always nice to have that output window just running because you're going to see, huh? This is uh doesn't seem good. Warning. Index buffer of size 16 bytes and format blah is too small for the index count of 36. So it's saying our index count is 36, which is right, but it says our buffer is size 16 bytes. That doesn't seem very good to me. It doesn't seem like a good size for our index buffer. If we've got 36 things in it, it should be 72. And if we inspect our index buffer view here, we see, oh yeah, I, I said it was like basically the same and it was, so I copy and pasted it. But of course you miss, you miss copy and pasta. It has its uh, ups and it has its downs. So let's try this one in here. All right. And yeah, so now, now we have the beautiful rainbow cube just in time for pride month. I love it. And, um, it's kind of, it's a little, I guess it's got a little bit of a twitch to it. It's got a little bit of a tick. And that is due to the dumb thing that I did down here. Where if I can find it. Yeah. So I'm updating the simulation time and I'm saying like, I don't want it. I just want it to keep it within the two pi range. And so I wrap it around 
but that doesn't this wrapping around it doesn't work well when you're like multiplying your your angle value by some number here because these won't all wrap at the same time right so this is a dumb idea and it's just like why am i even doing it let's just make the number get big and if that messes up the the sine and cos calculations at some point do I really care? Do I really care if you're going to run this program for like two hours and it starts to look weird? No. So this becomes a lot simpler and now it should not jump like it was jumping before. We just get that buttery smooth rotation. All right. That's great. I'm loving it. Now, you know what's better than a rotating cube? The answer, of course, is two rotating cubes. So I got, I'm gonna draw the cube twice. I'm just gonna submit the uh, draw commands two times while binding a little bit different uh, matrices for the rotation here. It's almost the same, it's just one is rotating in the opposite direction of the other. But the offsets are not, oops, I wonder if I should, I should just make these negative, right? That'd be, that'd be more, more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More, Symmetrical. Symmetrical? Symmetric? I don't know. Yeah, so now we got two cubes. Now these cubes are centered at the same point, but yet it looks like one is clearly on top of the other, and that is because, well, I'll let you think about that. I mean, you should obviously know the reason, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out in the next video. Uh, until then, hope you liked this one. If you did, please click the like button. It helps a lot, and I will see you again with some more Direct 3D12 Shallow Dive.